Good afternoon and welcome to the beautiful city of Bath in England. Today I've just checked into the five star McDonald Hotel and Spa here in Bath. I'm very much looking forward to giving you a full tour of the facilities here. Even booked in for dinner later, so we'll check out that as well. So stick around, it's going to be a good one. First things first, let's talk location. The McDonald Hotel is situated just to the east of Bath in Bath Wick. Don't be put off, however, by that it's only around a 10 or 15 or so minute walk into the city centre. The walk itself is incredibly beautiful. Bath, in fact, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, so do make sure to add it to your list if you're yet to visit. The hotel itself is surrounded by some really nice gardens and does have full car parking. Certainly made the most of that during my visit and the moment that you arrive, you're greeted with some very Romanesque style of touches. That was a nice entry into the hotel itself. The main reception is shown just the door to the right hand side of the shot just there. The check-in process was pretty smooth and efficient. Staff really went out of their way to make sure that we were nicely greeted and welcomed into the hotel. So made for a nice arrival, particularly with features such as this fireplace just here. It's something that we'll touch on a little bit later, but where the hotel really exceeded expectations was actually just the general styling. It managed to take in so many of the flavours and also general styling of Bath, and that was something that played very nicely and led for a very impressive arrival. As for the room, we were initially booked into one of the basic rooms of the hotel, but upon check-in, we were offered a cheap upgrade to one of the garden-facing rooms. This is a slightly upgraded room. It's by no means towards the absolute top end of what they offer at the hotel. But again, this was really nicely put together. Bit of a criticism, the TV certainly could have been a little bit bigger there, but otherwise very nice indeed. This then flowed straight into the bathroom. I absolutely love the white marble and also the wooden panelling. No separate tub to shower. That is something that I tend to expect from five star hotels. That said, both were just about big enough and I was particularly a fan of the Elemis amenities. That certainly made the whole look and feel of the bathroom being that much better, being given that quality of amenities to use. Heading back into the room, we were blessed with a balcony. This is something that would have been absolutely gorgeous in the more summer months. Sadly, we visited in the middle of February and it was certainly deepest, darkest winter and was looking an awful lot greyer than of course it would usually look. The outlook from the room back over Bath and over the gardens and where we checked in just a moment ago was really very nice indeed. And I would say the 15 or 20 or so pounds paid for the upgrade was certainly well worth it. As for back in the room, there was a full room service menu. This wasn't something that I used during the stay, but I was particularly impressed with a really wide range of different cocktails and drinks and also different food items available in the room. This would have been something quite nice to have enjoyed on that balcony itself. There was also some in-room amenities, as you'd expect, a pretty fancy instant coffee looking maker just there. There was then also a fridge and tea making facilities, as you'd expect as well. Now, talking of facilities, this was of course also a spa hotel, so couldn't visit without making the most of those, particularly with it being winter and absolutely freezing outside. They weren't too keen for people to film in the spa, understandably, so we'll use here a couple of the pictures from the website. The spa itself wasn't huge, but what they had was certainly very nice indeed. That heated pool was absolutely lovely in the winter. Following a thoroughly relaxing couple of hours in the spa, it was then time to check out the hotel's main restaurant. In terms of location, yeah, absolutely gorgeous to spend an evening in this particular space. That said, the food I found pretty overpriced and pretty pretentious, as we'd say here in the UK. Portions, quite small, and as you'll see in just a moment, pretty disappointing on the dessert front. My recommendation, if you are looking to stay in Bath, would certainly be to consider the McDonald Hotel, but then when it comes to dining, check out one of Bath's many beautiful restaurants. Very much hope that you found the video useful. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one.